look at it. Get in the first pick. Get three, Pyro! Get three with the- Wait, kid, put it on a clinic? Whole team's down- Oh! Drop the beat. And welcome back to the beat drop. I'm your host, Gizmo Charminer, along with my co-host Bard. How are you doing tonight, Bard? I'm doing wonderful, Giz. Thank you for having me here. Well, dude, I'll tell you what, man. I am I'm sweating like crazy right now. Do you know why? Well, I, I think I do, but go ahead and tell me. Well, you know, we've been just dealing with a bunch of rain lately that I think the world just said F it and start sending a heat wave our way. So, let's have our team heat wave tonight introduce themselves, and we'll start with you, Chair. Uh, hi, my gamer or alias is Charybdis or Cherrybeatus or Cherry Birds or whatever people want to call me. Um, but it's easier to call me Chase. I'm the Flex DPS. Kind of hit scan everything, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it. And what is your favorite Overwatch character skin? Oh, it has to be Widow. Wh wh and, which uh, one? The Pale Serpent. Okay. The best one. You're my favorite. All right. <laughs> Next up, Grant. Hi, uh, I'm Grant. I'm the main tank. And uh, my favorite skin is Reinhardt's Conductor. All right. Now, Boom. Hi, I'm Boom. Um, I play Hitscan DPS. My favorite skin is the Tracer Graffiti skin. All right. Extra Sharp. Hi, my name's Extra or Extra Sharp, and my favorite skin is San Francisco Shock 2018 Away. Uh, I'm the ma main support player. Awesome. Calero. I'm Calero. Uh, most people just call me Cole because they can't pronounce my name. Uh, I am the Flex Support. And my favorite skin is also Tracer Graffiti. My man. And last but not the last but not least, Manbro Dude. Hello, my name is Manbro Dude. I am the ex off tank player for Heatwave, current GM, and my favorite skin in the entire game in any video game is Roadhog's Frosty. I do love that Frosty man. That thing will give children nightmares for years to come. Uh are we missing anybody by the way? We are not now. Alright, sweet. So on that note, let's uh, let's get started with um, the history of the team. And uh, obviously, you know, the only one who really needs to answer this is either, you know, Chase or Manbro, dude. So whichever one of you would like to start. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, take it away. So we started off in Season 5 as Prodigious, and obviously that team was even around longer than then since, I believe, Season 3. And things happened. Uh, change of leadership, wanted to go a different route. We... Operated under the name of Frostbite for a little bit. Stuff happened there as well. After looking around, we found an organization called Ignition that was willing to pick us up. And we just thought the name Heatwave was pretty nice and went with that. All right. And, you know, just a ragtag group of gamers trying to improve and have fun doing so. All right, Bard, do you want to so ask So are you going to be honest and tell us that you named it after a Pokemon move? Or do I have to be the one to say that? Uh, you have to be the one to say that, obviously, Bard. Okay. Yeah, we they named, named it, it after, after a Pokemon, Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, where's your hat? This team loves Pokemon. So, it was so you, got, you, guys, you guys went from a Digimon term to Pokemon. Okay, okay. We've so you downgraded. Circle. You downgraded. Okay. Excuse no me. Next, they're going to be <laughs> named gonna fight? the Revealing Light. <laughs> uh, okay, Pokemon Pokemon will not go above Digimon until next year when the uh, open world has been released. Yeah, then, no. then Digimon really doesn't have a chance. I Sorry. respect opinions, but sometimes I think they're wrong. Hey, it's all right. <laughs> I have the power. Digimon is great. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, Bard, what's our next question for them? Well, our next question is, uh, why did you choose the name Heatwave? But I think we've kind of covered that a little bit. That's I'll why give I you the real answer. reason. It wasn't Pokemon. We wanted because, uh, you know, the first one was Frostbite. So we were like, you know, we we going to melt that away with the new name. So we chose Heatwave. I, it was it was the Pokemon reason, but you know I, yeah, I go with that one because I, I I don't I don't uh, I don't mess with Pokemon. So. Yeah, for context, Manbro dude did DM me at one point, and he was like, "What are good fire related Pokemon <laughs> moves?" <laughs> uh, well, next question uh, for you, Manbro dude, as the GM, because uh, I don't I don't know if you guys have a coach or not, but you can DM them quickly if they'll respond in point two seconds. Uh, but who have you seen to be the most improved player? as this season has gone on. Oh, I personally think that it would be Chase or Charybdis. Like, this man picked up Overwatch, what, three or four months ago? And the amount of work he's put in, the amount of heroes he's learning in such a short time period. Uh, for a little background, he comes from CSGO, uh, was semi-pro there, I believe, on some pretty yep. good teams, won some tournaments. And he wanted to change the pace. Overwatch got his attention, and the man picked up Sombra in like two days. The man picked up Echo like it's nothing. He's learning Tracer. Chase is definitely someone to watch out for. Nice. All right. Well, now here's a question we like to ask everybody. So we'll obviously start with Chase, and then we'll scroll on down. But uh, what drew you to the role you play on in the team? Uh, Well, it was easy. Well, I started off a hit scan because all I know how to do is aim. Um, and then at the start of the season, I wasn't able to play trans so i was in like discord tier level um but then i hit a nice little streak with sr and uh i wanted to try out for my old team uh, but they were only looking for a flex dps so i was like i can do that when i really couldn't but i still made it anyways uh so here we are all right grant well since season four i've always just been a tank player i really just like the the part where you don't have to like aim really and just protect your team, make space. <laughs> I've always been about that, you know. He holds W, uh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. I do hold W while pressing M1 and <laughs> the butt. It's pretty easy. All right. Boom. Uh, I came from like a semi pro Halo background and played a bunch of COD after that and Quake before that, uh, both of those. So for me, like playing the most FPS y class was just the one that made the most sense to me. It's just like always fit my play style, so that's why I started playing Hitscan. I hear you, man. All I would do is snipe in Call of Duty, so when I came here, it was just Widow, Widow, Widow. And then I'm a weeb, so Genji came out of nowhere. <laughs> Naturally. All right. Extra sharp. Yeah, uh, Overwatch is my first and only FPS I've ever been competitively interested in, and all throughout beta and the release of the game, Lucio just kind of had my interest, and... After spending a lot of time consuming content from the beta and early release, I was just kind of like, yeah, one trick. And then I was like, what if I did this competitively? And I was like, main support is just kind of perfect. It's fun. It's interesting. I don't feed too hard, and I feel like I make an impact. <laughs> the little <laughs> chuckle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> doesn't feed too hard. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll look up. Grant's trying to speed into position, and extra just in the back line fighting somebody. <laughs> And on that note... Hey, he's a Lucio, man. He's got to do that. Yeah, I mean, obviously. I mean, you're in Trank now. Like, Lucios are known to take out pharmacies. Let, let, let's be real. Especially especially at your tier. I'll roll the clips. <laughs> <laughs> this man has lost every Lucio one and one he's ever taken. So. Don't put him out there like that. I have Trank. video oh, I had to. proving so, that that's false. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard the challenge. Beat extra sharp in the Lucio game. Calero... Uh, so what drew me to the flex support position is the playmaking potential you get out of it. So, like, I'm a huge Ana player, um, and the ability to, like, anti an entire team and just win the fight off of that is super appealing. Sleeping Nano and Genji's, um, Baptiste, it's like, you throw it out in Immortality Field, swings an entire fight. You can also DPS, too. Zenyatta, you hit a 5-orb, and it's a fight swung. So, that's kind of what drew me to it. All right, and finally, man. Man, back in the playing days, uh, off tank was just fun, you know? I Back in Season 4, I was the scariest Hanzo in Discord tier. No one can tell me otherwise. 
And then I was like, what's it like to be on the other side of the Grav Dragon combo and started playing Zarya? And then, you know, Roadhog's also the most fun hero in the game because I can go do Roadhog things and flank. So. Yeah. All right. All right, Byron. What's our next question for them? Yeah, what is our next question? Uh, well, this is kind of for all of you, but ho I hope you'll come to a bit of a universal consensus. Uh, who are the parents or parent of the team? Remember, dude. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, He's been the glue that's held us together for almost a year now. No, it's Boom. Oh, boom, my parent. Boom I like consistently yelling, tells me no. <laughs> boom is the every stepdad. day. I just, boom, I'm, boom is the I'm not the parent. I just, I just tell you not to play. Boom's the angry stepdad. Yeah, hey, hey, sure. I, I was the angry stepmom on my last team, so it's okay. It's okay yeah, to be the angry stepdad. I'm hearing step Mambro dude's the dad. And yeah. Boom is the angry stepdad. Yep. Exactly. Boom tells us no all the time. Who did you get divorced from? I didn't even know I was gay. <laughs> 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 Those are questions for another day. <laughs> uh, okay, and the follow up on that, um, and this is also something you can universally agree on, or you can just go down the list and uh, tell us who you individually think it is. But who has the most pop off potential on the team? So who can be a little streaky sometimes, but when they're hitting it, they're really on. They're really hitting everything. Say wow. Chase. Isn't I, that just I, like probably, Chase. probably Chase? I feel like that's just both our DPS. Yeah, not gonna lie, they're like killing everyone or no one. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh! It's like it's real swingy. This is where the team falls apart. That is not by, by, by the way, your featured match is being played in the background right now, so we we got the proof oh, right yeah. in front of us. I'm yeah, just saying, look at, look at Havana. Look at Havana. They know. They know the say. exact map. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm a widow guy. What can I say? All right. Well, this last question for you guys is going to be for, uh, obviously for the captain and the GM is two parts for you and the rest is just going to be one. And that is, what is your goal as a player for the season six of Tranquility? And what is your goal for the team for this season? So like I said, just uh, Chase, man, you guys can just do, uh, do the team as long as you, and your goal. And uh, the rest of you, just say what your own particular goal is for the season. And we'll start uh, with you, Chase. I would say my personal one at the start was to actually win a, a map um, in Shrink. Because uh, I didn't do that last season. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, we accomplished that. Um, yeah, honestly, that was, that was my only goal starting this season. Um, but... Uh, MBD, do you want to do the, the team goal? Oh, for sure. Uh, I think the team goal going in was obviously to just make it to playoffs. The first one was obviously a simple one like Chase had, which is win a math and then win a match and all that kind of stuff. But if you set those low goals and hit them, that's not as exciting as if you set these higher goals and hit them. So definitely for the team to make it to playoffs is the number one priority right now, because if you make it to playoffs, you got a chance to go all the way. That's right. All right, Grant. So, what is your personal goal for this season? I mean, honestly, I just want to like get better at main tech and uh, dunk on all the other runs, you know. <laughs> That's about it. All right, boom. Uh, championship or bust. I've won a couple <laughs> other leagues, uh, like when I was starting off on PC. So no L word. I like win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Community. I like winning ships. <laughs> it happens. All right, extra sharp. Uh, I personally strive for consistency, and I would like to just become the most consistent main support player and someone my team can rely on in any situation, as well as making it as far as we can and showing that, you know, we're a good team and we've worked hard to get where we are. All right. Claro. So mine was just, like, to actually get back into the competitive scene. I was in the competitive scene in, like, 2017 through, like, 2019. And then around 2019, I was, like, almost GM, and I just got tired of the game and took a hiatus for, like, a year, year and a half. And so this is, like, my first, like, debut back. All right. Well, 
if our uh, GM and coach don't have any other personal goals, or excuse me, captain, not coach, uh, have any other personal goals they'd like to do, I guess we'll go on to our next segment, which is word association. And like I said before, guys, word association is me or Bard will say a word, you'll say the first thing that comes to mind. The example I always like to give, ladies and gentlemen, is when I hear the word Coke, must be in a glass bottle. So our first word is Manbro Dude. Hog. Hog. Beard. Bear. This has got to be Roadhog, though, right? Like, just it's got to be Roadhog. Talk. Yeah, it's got to be Roadhog. <laughs> it's, Roadhog. <laughs> it's definitely his beard. Like, I literally, like, tweets? I still think you should, uh, you should change your profile picture on Discord from just, like, whatever it is now to just Roadhog with your face put on it. Because it just Bro. fit. <laughs> Bro. Roadhog with just a big, bushy red beard. Exactly. Mm. All right, we'll consider it. I'll consider it. All right. Is that ever so everyone's on the same thing on that one? Yep. Easy. All right. All right. Well, I got one for you. Uh, this is a team you've played pretty recently. In fact, they are up in the background right now. Uh, one last freak. Uh, um. Yeah, I'm not touching that with a ten foot pole. Um. <laughs> um. Good, but would like to face them when they have their full roster. I'd like to face them when we have our full roster. That too, we, actually. We played that match with a uh, a sub that we got five minutes before the match that we never played with, and he hadn't scrimmed in four months. He also had people. to be below Diamond. So, we, yeah. We were on roster for that one? Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, rematch. Ooh, yeah, rematch. Uh, sorry, yes, yes, rematch. yes. So, yeah. I, uh, Go ahead. Connor, personally, I have something different from the rest of these guys. Uh, they're a team made up uh, of some friends I know from a former league, and one of them, Connor Koner, is one of my great friends, and he instantly comes to mind when that team comes up. Uh, so rematch, I definitely agree with. I'd love to be able to face them. All right. See, I always love throwing team other teams you guys play because it. You, sometimes you'll get the humble answers like, "Look forward to having a good game, fun," and then you got the others who's like, "Nah, I want to be who." Cause it's funny, like literally, there'll be someone there. They either just played, or they'll be playing in the next week or so, and they'll be like, "Who?" And there's like, they're they're in your bracket. Are you are you, are you joking with me? Or and most of the time, they're dead serious. Like they had no idea who the heck the teams are. I literally don't know who we're playing this week. <laughs> who I know. This week? Uh, they're called Praxis. I don't know I anything guess. about them, but oh, the guy who went on Twitter and said that they're screaming 4K or whatever. That team. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, I have an, I have another one for you if you guys are, are willing. Uh, this is this is two words, but I just want the first word that pops into your guys' mind. Uh, broken character. Okay. We can go down the list. We'll start with Chase, and we'll go down. Broken character. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Overwatch definitely doesn't have any of those. If you oh, don't, really? it doesn't have to be yeah. Overwatch because yeah, you don't play a lot of Overwatch <laughs> or you're new to Overwatch. Oh, stuff. broken character? Oh, let me go into League of Legends right here. Yo, <laughs> Viego is broken. That new these new champs in League just broken. Okay. Do we have a server mute for Chase? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I can't. I, yeah, I can. Okay, okay, well, echo. Cuz he, he didn't he didn't, he didn't say my girl Ari, right, I will not server mute. All right, so. All right. Uh, Grant? <laughs> Who? Echo. echo. Echo? Okay. That's two for Echo. <laughs> Boom. Tanks. Tanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, extra. I'd probably agree with Echo. All right. Uh, Cole? Uh, I'm going to say Baptiste. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Immortality Field is just disgusting. Yes. Yeah. It's an ultimate with a cooldown. Yep. Oh, uh, this is a tough one. I had the longest time to think, and I'm still torn between Echo, Ball, and Brig. Isn't it Ball for you? It's Ball. It's, it's Ball. It's Ball. It's always Ball. <laughs> like, they nerf the wrong things. They're like, we did it, Patrick. We saved the city. And, like, pat themselves on the back and throw a party. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ball just defined a meta that nobody enjoyed. What are you talking about? That was the best meta since, like, the original Ball I was not fun. Okay, so you know how we talked about uh, server muting somebody? I think Boom might be up for it. <laughs> we consider it everywhere else. i'm already hated by this community i'll take it <laughs> well speaking of this community the final word is tranquility we always like to get that feedback from everyone to see what they like and don't like about us 
Uh, first thing, honestly, the the person I see the most and whose name pops up when you say Trunk is uh, Mr. Yeti. I don't know why, but he's the first person. So, well, I mean, shout out to Mr. Is, Yeti. He's an admin and a great dude. Yeah, shout out Mr. Yeti. I think a friendship. I've made so many friends from the Trank community. Uh, so many teams are like close friends with us now. Like we become friends with Ace Advantage, Tempest, obviously. Uh, the whole Tempered Metal organization with like Bart and all them. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a lot of great people in Trank. Great players, great people to like just hang out with and enjoy time with. You know. All right, Grant. I was also going to say friends. <laughs> Boom. Uh, fun. I don't know. It seems like everybody tries to take it as seriously as they can, and people like in other leagues, like I came from console with C CGL, they, like everybody acts like it's a joke, but with this, like everybody tries to like to have fun with it and take it seriously, and that makes it the league a lot better. Tournament community. Yeah, the community is amazing like that. Uh, <laughs> extra sharp. <laughs> Competitive. You never know how matches will swing, and it creates a lot of interesting relationships and dynamics between teams and players. Mm. Clara, look at you with these fancy responses. I don't, I don't know that I've got like a word uh, for it, but like, hey, like I said, it doesn't have to be to... just a word; it can be a sentence. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. People are like, it's like competitive, but also like, there's that environment where like everyone's just like they're just trying to have fun. So like, you know, people try not to get overly toxic, and it's like kind of a a nice change of pace compared to like other tournaments where it's just like one team just i like i just i have a habit of high like i just hide chat at the beginning of every match just because of crap i've seen from tournament matches yeah i will definitely say one thing i love about trank is you know how on top they are about the non-toxicity and it's just it, you see it everywhere and you come here and it's just nothing but I literally can say just a field of roses because even when you go to our like Discord chats and stuff, everyone's saying GG, no one's like doing anything. So I, it, it's good to know that it still continues that way because I don't, I know Bard might look at every chat, but I don't just because I'm an adult I and I'm have more chats <laughs> muted and drank than people assume. <laughs> I've I, dodged I'm, all, I'm only assuming this because every so time long. I go to any of the chats, I just see Bard. Like Bard and Vila and a couple others, I only names I see. But oh, I talk a lot in the <laughs> yeah. in the big chats, but I dodge responsibility. So I have like general has been <laughs> muted since I joined. I'm just like I don't want any to have to read anything that some people so say. So everyone at Bard hashtag at Bard. Uh, but no. yeah, so uh, so it is good, and and that's one thing too. I always loved about this community is you find friends, you really do. And I know everyone's really wanting to do these meetups right now, but. Won't be too much longer and we finally can do like a live meetup, which I know some of y'all haven't been in Trank, but before all COVID happened, like it would, it, it'd be nice. You'd have like six, seven plus people just meeting in like Michigan or wherever. So hopefully we can get back to that soon, but it is time for our final segment of the night. Server kick trivia, which is personally my favorite. Because uh, <laughs> this is where I get to be mean to y'all. All right. So, the play, the rules are, players are pinned against one another in a trivia-style game where they must buzz in using their name to answer the trivia. And by their name, I do mean your Discord name, not your actual name. <clears throat> Mine is so long. Okay, you just say boom. Or, like, sharp. Like, you can just say sharp or just dude or whatever we'll, we'll figure Extra, it out yeah i'll be keeping an eye out okay. to see who lights up first yeah all right all right so if the person long. buzzing in gets the answer correct they get to choose a player from their team to be kicked out of the server if they get the answer wrong well it's adios for you and we will give you you know a little like last second chance to say whatever you want to say at the last second um if you want to throw out your twitch or whatever you can definitely do that um, but yeah, so last, pl oh, and the last player standing will get to close out with me and Bard. So, you know, there, there is some, some, uh, icing on the cake for winning. All right. So tonight's questions are special event maps in Overwatch. So I, I know one of us in here might not know it since they've only been around for two events. Ah, that <laughs> for you. But, um, I just gotta mute my mic, man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, First question. 
What are the three maps that are reskinned during the Halloween Terror event? Grant. 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 Eichenwald. Hollywood. And there's three. I'll give you. I'll give you a bit of a hint. This does include arcade game uh, game mode maps as well. I'll, 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 I'll give you I'll give you I will give you the best hint possible. <sighs> Ugh, spiders. What? I don't know. What <laughs> I said spiders. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was... think you made things harder. It's a it's a I'll give you I'll give you the best hint possible. It's a death match map. Or free for all map. Or free for all, yeah. Chateau Yes, yeah, that's correct. Sorry, I was I was saying ooh spiders for you know widow because it's widow's home. All right, Grant. <laughs> who? Yeah, I probably did. Uh, who are we kicking? Grant, you get a pick. Grant, you He's Grant muted himself. <laughs> Hold, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, all right, Cole. <laughs> Any final words? <laughs> yeah, screw this guy. <laughs> well, Dude, what? Calero. I pocket you. You would die if it weren't for me. You know how many honor dates I've used on you in the past, like, week? How many? Too many to count. More than two. Too many. <laughs> More than two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like Chase is getting all the nanos now. All right. Well, Calero, Honestly. I'm sorry, but it's no longer Calero. It's more like clear out. Bye, Cole. Hey. By the way, that was Bard, so I do apologize. That, that was reason. mine. Yeah, we couldn't think it of was, one. His was hard, but when I heard Cole, I literally thought of one on the spot. Like, after I was kicking, I was like, dang, it's time to burn out the coal. But anyways, all right, Bard, what is our like, next question? Our next question is a bit of a fun one. Um, so this one, Chase might know because it is a uh, sense he's been playing. What are the three competitive maps that are reskinned for the Winter Wonderland event? Ooh, shiny. The Christmas event, in case you need help. Yeah. One of you will be voluntold in a moment. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling you to be sick. Uh, it's boom. Boom. God damn it. I knew I shouldn't have talked. Uh... <laughs> the three competitive maps that are reskinned for the Christmas event. Okay, King's Row, I know, is one. Mm -hmm. If you, you can get two out of three here, and we'll, we'll give it to you. Oh, can I, can I, I want to say Hanamura. Hanamura is the other one, yeah. You want to try for that third one? Uh, never mind. Can I get a hint? I don't uh, need oh, I want to go on all the rides. It's a very apt name. Blizzard World, okay. There, there we go. go. Yeah. All right, who are we kicking, Boom? Good uh, let's get Grant because he's my biggest competition. Ooh, Grant. That's fair. What is, <laughs> what is your last words here, Grant? Uh, uh, I don't really mind. Too. All right. <laughs> All right. Most grand oh, response I've ever heard. Well, <laughs> Grant, Grant, just like your answer and like Grant Williams' career, it's time for you not to exist. Hey, Grant Williams, I've got kind of cold. Yeah, that was yeah, like that was almost that, overboard. That was, that, oh, trust hurt. me, I've had I've had some good ones. It's <laughs> an all-American. We're gonna go out there. Fired. It was a hey, it doesn't hey, it doesn't exist anymore though. So you know. All right, but there's a there was a chance, Chase. <laughs> I don't even know the map names are. All right, so unfortunately, Chase, this one you have not gotten to because it's the next <laughs> event coming up. But what maps are two maps used for the archives PVE event? Do, 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 do. One of both uh, of them have. Oh, is, was that you buzzing in extra? Extra. Extra. Okay. What is? What are they extra? Uh, King's Row and Havana. Ooh. That's wrong. 
That is incorrect Our, because Havana is archives? not. No, it is an not. Archive not. TV event. Actually, it's Rialto, it actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, Bard. He actually, is correct. Is the other one that we have. No, it's, there's three. There's three, there's three. there's three maps. There's three maps. This is why. Okay, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why we cannot let Booth do it because he leaves something <laughs> out. Kings Row is correct. Rialto is correct because that's the Black Watch. And then last year we were given Havana. Because it has a storm at the end. So, yes, oh, right. I am giving it to right. Extra Sharp because it was three maps, not two. So, I told you to one anyway. ladies and gentlemen, Blame Booth. <sighs> Hashtag Blame Booth. All right, Extra Sharp. Who we cutting? Goodbye, Chase. You oh. fed too hard. You're, you're kicking the person that doesn't know anything. I can't even answer. Game theory here. <laughs> well, Chase, I... any final words? Yeah, thanks for having us on the uh, the beat drop. Appreciate it. No problem, my man. Well, Chase, it's time to chase you out of here. Then there were three. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead one because I think the next one's a little too easy for the people that we have left here. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys to name one of the three maps used for Lucio Ball during the Summer Games. Ooh. I know Extra's just kicking himself here as a Lucio player. I purposely avoid that game mode. I've never played Lucio what? Ball. What? You can top 500 life. easy. Extra, you're in with a shot. <laughs> Extra. Extra. Right. Rio Extra. de Janeiro. Uh, oh... Oh, See, here's the thing. I personally would count that, but it's not, not the, the name, name of the map. map. Oh, it is the, the name of the. It is the name of the location, but the map for Rio de Janeiro is actually called Estadio de Ras. Uh, oh, there's yes. Sydney yeah. Harbor yeah. and Busan Stadium. Yeah. So, I don't know, I don't know Giz. What's the official ruling on that? I, I... Kick him. You know, you know, I'm going to say I, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to say he is I'm going to say he's eliminated because it does say name one of the three maps used for Lucio, not one of the locations. Okay, so, sorry, extra. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, extra. It's been fun. Any <laughs> final words? I'll, I'll take my boot and eat it. Thank you for having me. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. Getting that answer wrong seems extra dull. Oof. Oof. Thank Unfortunate. You. All right, and then there were two. All right, our final question. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do the last one. What yeah, are the, the two, two elimination maps that are reskinned during the Winter Wonderland event? Do you guys avoid uh, elimination two? Elimination two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, here, I can I can give you I can give you a hint. Um, one of them is very fitting for the theme. Uh, boom, Echo Point, Antarctica. Okay. All right. Okay, but what is the other one? Duh! I should have tried to answer this. Oh, you're in with like a one I'll, in three I'll, chance here. Should, should I give Should I give him a hint? <gasps> I know the answer. I'm so mad at myself. I, I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay, the hint is it is location in Germany. Eichenwald. <laughs> no, uh, it's an elimination map. Bro. That's not elimination. It's, it's an elimination oh wait, map. you're right. Uh, I don't even know the elimination maps. Whatever. Uh, like man, bro, dude, answer for him. Uh, so we've got Echo Point and then Blackwood Forest. Yes. Yeah, Black Forest. Yeah, Black Forest. Black Forest. That is correct. Boom! I am sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, any last words? Uh, revert the Ryan Winston and Arissa changes. Amen no. to that. But sorry to tell you this, but we got to get rid of explosives and boom goes the dynamite. All right, man, bro, dude, you are our winner. What would That's you like you to say? I'm answering a question. <laughs> I stayed silent the entire time. I hey, flew under I, the radar. That, that, that's usually how it works. Usually, the person who is dead quiet the whole time is the one that ends up winning. Just, just and the, way the it only works. reason, the only reason I knew Black Forest was because me and Grant over here won the two v two Valentine's Day tournament in Tempered Metal server. 
and Black Forest was there. And I was like, there's snow on this map. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you want to say before we sign off here? Uh, yeah, just a uh, general thanks to the whole Trent community for being so welcoming and such a great place for a team to come and learn how to play the game more and uh, get better with friends. And just for being great. Like, thank you, Tranquilly. It means a lot to us. All right. Well, I'm Gizmo Charmander. And I've been Bard. And this has been another segment of the Beat Drop! <laughs> Let's drop the beat!